Okay, here we go. It's a $24 tattooed monkey creation here. I've got a $8 piece of a pine board. I attach to uh, two casters. I uh, rubbed the board down, actually I sanded it. You see the sandpaper over there? I sanded it to uh, get all the rough spots off the corners. Drilled a handle into it. I can actually hang it from uh, the handle at the cabin or I could actually hang it from this. I rubbed in linseed oil on both sides, several coats, to actually seal the wood. Currently these are on sale at Renogy. These, this is a uh, 60 amp. Uh, MPPT uh, charge controller for photovoltaics, i.e. solar panels, and uh, 2,000 watts pure sine wave energy inverter, which is currently like a, I've got a couple inverters, but I don't have a 2,000 watt, more than what I need. I don't have uh, any sort of enormous power needs, but this will actually handle all the lights at the cabin, a small mini fridge, actually to handle more than a mini fridge, but here you go. Got some hook and loops attached there. Positive in, negative in photovoltaic. Positive and negative battery lead. Uh, I've got this on a roller so that it'd be portable. Um, I should have brought one of these um, out. Have it in the house. Uh, I've got uh, four of them. They're uh, ultra lightweight, ultra compact. 100 uh, watt uh, solar panels, but uh, this is meant for a pair this will handle, I think, 800 watts input on photovoltaic, but I have a pair at the cabin, uh, one each of 320 watts for a total of 640 watts photovoltaic in. Uh, I haven't decided yet on lead acid or uh, lithium. I uh, have to wait a month for a 200 amp hour lithium to come in because they actually make them in batches and you know, I gotta wait a couple weeks. But this is all I need. Actually, you can actually see the power strip down here. It's just attached via hook and loops. And uh, these for attaching to uh, the batteries, either uh, lead acid or my lithium. I have a 100 amp hour lithium. I got a lot of lead acids, what they call flooded. And I think these are uh, 20 watts to photovoltaic connectors. These are energy connectors. Uh, really simple, so for 24 bucks, it's on wheels. Drill a hole and cut out the hand. Yeah, I could have made that a little nicer, but at least it's nice and smooth, no splinters. Debird that. And it's pretty nice. Um, big proponent, always have been, of solar. I've got, how many solar panels have I got? Four, 10, 14, 16 solar panels. No, wait a minute, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 solar panels. Um, a few of them are actually 200 watt foldable briefcase uh, solar panels. Um, this is a really nice setup. I had this idea in my head. I was like, I know I could build this for basically 20 bucks. Five bucks a piece on the caster, six dollars uh, for the piece of wood. Already had the linseed oil. Already had the sandpaper. All I had to do is just cut out a hand cut out. And uh, this is a temperature sensor for battery, actually. Um, I've been wanting, been waiting for them to go on sale for a long time on Renogy, the uh, 60 amp uh, MPPT controller. They're 100 off, but these are currently like $240 off on 2000 watts. Uh, Renogy, a pure, and it is a pure sine wave inverter. Um, very, very nice. Monkey, monkey happy. I'm actually uh, uh, place this vertical against the wall and hang it on the wall at the cabin. And uh, so this will be vertical and have my batteries or battery. 200 amp hours is all I need actually. Uh, also I was planning on maybe doing a two 150 uh, amp hour flooded, i.e. lead acid battery. They're golf cart battery. They're also two deep discharge batteries. Uh, you can actually get those currently. They're interstate batteries at Costco, and they're $250 for 150 amp hour uh, deep discharge uh, golf cart batteries. That's like a poor man's off-grid solar is uh, 150 amp hour. They're heavy as hell. They're like 74 pounds. Um, comparable, the 200 uh, amp hour, so 50 amp hours more, 200 amp hour um, lithium pack that I'm going to get here in a few weeks is 46 pounds. 
So uh, 75 pounds for 150 amp hour of lead acid or 48 pounds for 200 amp hours of lithium. Um, I know the advantages and disadvantages of both. Both are great for, you know, if you're gonna move it, lithium is the only option because those golf cart batteries are really, 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 really friggin' heavy. Ah, uh, here we go. Get some battery. So, I had a great idea. I had this like in a vision. It instantly popped into my head. I knew instantly how to build it. Uh, this doesn't really weigh anything, hardly at all, so. But sticking it on some casters, very nice. I really like the idea. Really do. Um, don't need a fuse. Someone's gonna say, where's your fuse is that? You, 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 you don't need it. Recommend it, yes. But for off-grid, you know, simple off-grid power use, no, you don't. You don't need it, sorry. You don't need any inline fuses. Sure you do. No, you, you don't. You don't actually. I know a lot of people that have constant hookup, perpetually running their mini fridges, that don't have any, any fuses in line. You don't. Your house doesn't need fuses either. It's a good idea if so your house doesn't burn down, obviously, but you technically don't need fuses. Um, and the 2000 watt inverter is really, really cheap on sale right now at Renogy.com. No, I have no affiliate links. I'm not connected with Renogy. Hope you like it. I keep getting bit by mosquitoes out there, probably because I'm so sweet. There we go.